As children across the four states head back to school, they're not alone. A lot of germs are going to be joining them in the classroom. So how can you keep your family healthy? Well, KOIM's Tanya Bach gives us a dose of prevention from the experts. Where are you going? Are you going to do the monkey bars? Come on. Go to the next one. Chelsea Walker is enjoying the final days of summer vacation with her two boys, Corbin and Elijah. But with the new school year comes the same old fear. I mean, it's inevitable. Corbin has a great immune system. Elijah does not. So I worry about Elijah getting sick a lot this year with Corbin going back to school. It never fails. When kids go back to school, they tend to bring home a lot more than homework germs, bacteria, and viruses that can lead to pink eye, flu bugs, and a constant stream of colds. Elijah's been sick a lot. Um, we were, like, the last Christmas, we ended up in the hospital, and then it was almost like clockwork. Every month after that, we would end up in the hospital. He caught every single virus, and, like, a lot of the time, parents don't realize that whenever your kids come home, they might not show symptoms, but then they just bring it home, too. Prevention is key, and with 80% of infectious diseases spread by touch, hand washing is important. Mercy pediatrician Dr. Omar Mohammed says there are other things you can do, too, to keep your family's health in check. For example, setting a strict nighttime routine. Following a schedule to making sure we're getting eight hours of undisturbed sleep will not only help us feel better in the morning, but also limit our fogginess when it comes to learning new things and whatnot. Trouble falling asleep or staying asleep? Try putting your screens down at least one hour before bedtime. That gives your brain a chance to wind down and signals your body that it's time to sleep. But what we don't realize is if we do not follow that sleep pattern that our brain is used to, our melatonin, natural melatonin production goes down. And that may make keep us uh, awake. And when it's time to wake up, don't forget breakfast. The carbohydrates that we take, our brain uses that as fuel. Uh, our brain is the only organ in the body that relies heavily on carbohydrates to process information or be awake and help us learn new things. Dr. Mohammed says after a day of learning, healthy snacks high in protein, carbohydrates, and natural sources are best. Fruit snacks, fruit snacks is huge, and then watermelon and cantaloupe. We try to like do fruits and stuff like that, and of course, like if he really wants, he likes popcorn too, and just like little stuff until not something so much on his stomach that it's gonna ruin his dinner. Walker's family is swinging into another school year, aiming high. Another underdog? You're already going really high and preparing to face whatever challenges lie ahead. Tanya Bach, KOAM News. Dr. Muhammad also recommends staying hydrated and getting a daily dose of vitamin C.